hey guys yeah welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be drafting out these two bustier that you can see on your screen if you're interested keep on watching and let's get started i already have my pattern paper i'll go ahead and start taking my points the first point is distance from my shoulder to my bust point which is 10 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my under bust point which is 13 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waist point which is 16 inches while the length of my blouse is going to be 24 inches for the front okay because i'll be using two inches to take in my side that okay so the front pattern paper is 24 inches while the back pattern paper is going to be 22 inches i'm going to explain better later so what i'll do is to connect all the dots and i'll rule straight lines across all the points after doing that i'm going to label my bust line my under bust line my waistline and my blouse length the next thing i will do is to take half of my shoulder measurement which is 18 inches i'll place the measurement on my shoulder line which is the start of this pattern paper i'll indicate it with a dot on that dot i'll go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i'll slant from that point into the neckline area after doing that guys i'm going to go down from the shoulder slope by half of my round arm or circumference so my round arm or circumference is 15 inches half of 15 inches is 7 inches so i'm going to go down by 7 inches from the shoulder slope and i'll roll a straight line across that point so this particular line is going to serve as my chest line so i'll label it my chest line after doing that i'm going to place the same measurement that i have on the shoulder line which is 8 inches i'll place that same measurement on the chest line i'll indicate it with a dot after doing that i'll connect from the shoulder slope to meet the dots that i have on the chest line next thing i'll do is to mark the middle points of this straight line to do that i'll place my tape like this and whatever i have i'll divide it into two what i have is seven inches half of seven inches is 3.5 inches i'll indicate the 3.5 inches with a dot on that dot i'll come in one like this by half an inch i'll also indicate the half an inch with a dot on my chest line i'm going to place my bust circumference divided by four i'll indicate that with a dot after doing that i'll connect from the shoulder slope to meet the half an inch and from the half an inch to meet the dots that i have on my chest line like this after doing that the next thing i'll do is to take my bust band measurement which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches half of eight inches is four inches so i'm placing the four inches on my blouse length on the waistline on the under bust line on the bust line and on the chest line after doing that i'll connect all the dots into a straight line i've gone ahead to do that and this is what i have the next thing i'll do is to take in my dart so on the waistline i'm going to take 0.75 inches on both sides of this straight line okay after doing that the dart i took there is 1.5 inches okay 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 inches is um 1.5 inches so what i'll do is to connect from the waistline to meet the blouse length and from the waistline i'll also connect to meet the bust line as you can see me doing so my marker stop stopped working so i'm going to use my pencil and i hope you guys can see it so i'm connecting from the waistline like this to meet the um blouse length and from the waistline i also connect to meet the bust line as you can see me doing after doing that you can see the 1.5 inches that i have on the waistline so now it's time to tighten my under bust line and i want to tighten it by two inches and what i have on the under bust right now is about one inch so i'm going to go out from this dart by half an inch as you can see me doing I'm going out from the dart that I already took by half an inch. So ignore the dart that we already took and go out by half an inch on both sides. After doing that, you can see that I have the two inches that I want to use to tighten my under bust. So what I'll do is to blend it back to the waistline. Okay, I hope you guys are not confused. I'm going to just erase the um, first dart because I don't need it anymore. I already have my two inches on um the under bust line so take notes of your lines so you know where you are taking your darts okay the next thing i'll do is to use the curved part of my ruler to connect from the under bust line to meet the bust line 
okay so this line should not be too curvy and it should not be too straight okay the curve should just be um moderate as you can see after doing that this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do now is to clean up the previous that just so we know what we are working with and then i'm going to take my neckline measurement for the width i'll take three inches and for the depth i'll also take three inches after doing that i'll connect like this after connecting guys the next thing i'm going to do is to increase this that leg so i didn't know my camera stopped recording i was recording and my camera stopped i didn't know so i had to erase everything to start all over so what i'm doing now is extending my chest line okay so i'm going to do that by 2.5 inches you can go up by 3 inches from your um chest line okay but i'm doing 2.5 inches i went up by 2.5 inches from my chest line and i rolled a straight line across this is going to be my new chest line the next thing i'll do is to place my tape on the shoulder line and whatever i have there i'm going to divide it by two what i had was five inches half of five inches is 2.5 inches i went ahead to mark the middle so i'm going to use my ruler to connect from that middle to meet this dart leg as you can see okay after doing that i'm going to tighten my over bust to do that on this new chest line i want to tighten my over bust by 1.5 inches so what i'll do is to take 0.75 inches on both sides of this line as you can see i've gone ahead to indicate that okay i'm going to now use my ruler to connect from that point to meet the boss point so just um take note of how i'm going to curve this line this is not a straight line and it's not too curvy if you don't have a ruler go ahead and use your um free hand okay um so i'll connect on the center front i'll also connect on the side front after doing that this is what we have and you can see that the overboard tightening is 1.5 inches from this that leg i'm just going to connect into the ammo area as you can see me doing the next thing you do is to determine how deep you want your neckline to be okay so you can see that the neckline is a sweetheart neckline so from my bust point i'll go up by 1.5 inches okay you can connect yours straight to the chest um the bust line but i went up by 1.5 inches from my bust line i'm going to connect from the that leg to meet the 1.5 inches mark like this after doing that this is what i have so guys if you look at the picture on the thumbnail closely you see that it has um a style line so i want to straighten the blouse length to do that i placed my tape on the waistline and i uh, measured from the center front to that leg what i add there when i to place the same thing on the blouse length okay so i'm just going to connect this that straight down okay this is going to give um the down part of your blouse fitting okay so um after doing that i'm going to create um one style line on this um side front so to do that i'll go out from this dart leg by 3.5 inches so this 3.5 inches is not the standard yours can be um 4 inches 4.5 inches so from the previous the first dart leg I went out by 3.5 inches on the bust line and on the blouse length and i connected into a straight line that is all after doing that i'll start placing my measurements i already have my bust circumference divided by four on the chest line i'll go ahead and replace this tiny that if you can and then add your stitching allowance on the under bust line i'll place my under bust circumference divided by four i'll also replace this that and i'll add my stitching allowance on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four i replace the dart and i'll add my stitching allowance on the blouse length go ahead and place your hip circumference divided by four and add your allowance i forgot to add my allowance but i'm going to do that later and then connect your dots go ahead and label your pattern and also blend in the arm o area okay i'm also um extending my um that leg on the style line next thing i'll do is to take my bust that to do that i'm going to go down from the bust line by two inches so i added two extra inches to this front pattern paper because my waistline from my shoulder to my waistline in front is 16 inches and the distance from my shoulder to my waistline at the back is 14 inches so the difference is two inches that two inches is what i'm using to take in my dart for the front i hope you guys are not confused so once i close up this dart this um the length of this blouse for the front is going to be 22 inches okay 
so i connected from that two inches to the my nipple points the next thing i did was to add my hip allowance um my allowance to the hip line remember i said i forgot to add stitching allowance on the hip line so i went ahead to do that what i'll do now is to connect from the waistline to meet the blouse length as you can see after doing that guys we are done with this if you don't want the down part of your blouse to be straight go ahead and go up as you can see me doing on that point by one inch and then slant into the um, center front but you can leave it to be straight like this after doing that i'm going to close up my side that to do that i went ahead to open this that leg and i cut out my the excess pattern paper on the side i'm going to fold the darts as you can see me doing and i'll cover it up and then i'll use my masking tape to just hold it down as you can see so after cutting it i'll go ahead and blend your darts okay make sure everything is sitting in place after doing that go ahead and cut pay close attention so you know where to cut after cutting guys this is what i have for the front pattern so we have number one number two and number three so your number one should be on fold the center front should be on fold so this is my pattern paper for the back i went ahead to mark out one inch which is going to serve as my zipper allowance from that point i went in by half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches on that 8 inches point i went down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i'll slant into the neckline area the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my points okay so to do that i'm going to go down from the distance from my shoulders my bust point is 10 inches we don't need the under bust line for the back the distance from my shoulders my waistline at the back is 14 inches like i mentioned earlier for the front i took 16 inches for the back i'm taking 14 inches and my blouse length is 22 inches because i'm not taking any side darts for the back i've already taken my darts my bust darts for the front okay so the only difference here is that your waistline is not going to be the same as the front okay it's not going to be the same so go ahead and measure yourself okay measure the distance from your shoulder to your waist in front and that of the back and you're going to use the difference to take your side that for the front okay after doing that i went down by half of my round arm or circumference which is seven inches on that seven inches i rolled a straight line across and i labeled it my chest line so i'm going to place the same measurement that i have on the shoulder line i'll place it on the chest line and i'll connect the two dots into a straight line so everything i'm doing here is what we did for the front i'll go ahead and take in my dart okay which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement i'm taking four inches on the blouse length on the waistline and on the chest line after doing that i'll connect into a straight line on the waistline i'm going to take half an inch on both sides for my dart and then i'll connect from there to meet the blouse length and from the blouse length to meet the chest line so guys after taking in my dart I want to still take out about half an inch from this upper part and the lower part to avoid gaping so what i did was to go out by 0 0.25 inches on both sides of these darts okay i connected it back to the waistline i'll repeat the same thing okay on the base i'll just go ahead and connect like this just so when you're taking your darts it's going to stay firm okay after doing that guys this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and start placing my measurements so on the chest line i'll place my bust circumference divided by four i'll replace the dart and i'll add my stitching allowance on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four i'll replace the dart and i'll add my stitching allowance on the blouse length i'll take my hip circumference divided by four i'll also replace the dart and i'll add my stitching allowance the next thing i'll do is to tighten the zipper area so on the waistline i just went in by half an inch okay so i'm going to connect from there to the blouse length and i'll connect from there also to the neckline area okay so for the neckline if you want it straight you can go ahead and leave it like this but if you want you can go down by um two inches or three inches depending on how deep you want the back neckline to 
be okay you can just go down and slant it back into the arm or area but i'm going to leave mine like this okay so i'll label my number one and number two pattern and i'll go ahead and cut if you don't want the base of your blouse to be straight you can go up by one in just like we did for the front slant into the center back and then cut out after cutting go ahead and place your pattern on your fabric and cut so guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one